Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. I have a Dollar General haul here this afternoon. Um, I don't get there very often. There's not one near me, but we had to go up to uh, where we go to our bird store to get food for the parrots. And there is one up there, so I figured, oh, let's stop in. So I found some good things. I was hoping to find maybe some more things like on clearance and stuff that were for spring, summer, whatever. But I did get a couple of cute, really cute things. Um, but I wanted to show this. I'm going to bring little pea in in a minute, I promise. But I want to get this stuff back in the refrigerator. I picked these up there. These were $2. Um, that's what they go on sale for at my grocery store is just crack an egg. And these are really, really good. Um, I put off trying these for a long, long time because I really didn't think I was going to like them. And it's only 200 calories. And this one has potatoes, sharp cheese, and uncurved bacon in it. And you just pretty much just put an egg in there and cook it. They're very easy. And then I got this one here. This one has um, applewood ham, wild cheddar, green peppers, and onions. So these are really good. I think this is one my husband's probably going to want to want. Want to want. Yeah. And then I got this one here. Uh, this is a protein pack scramble. This is sharp cheddar cheese, uh, pork sausage, and uncured bacon. So yeah. And they make a nice little quick meal on the go thing there. And then I did pick this up there. I don't know if this is a good buy or not. I don't even remember what I paid for this, but this sounds really, really good. I've never tried it. It's the International Delights, the Hershey's um, Chocolate Caramel. That just sounded wonderful. So I'm going to give that a try in my coffee because it just sounds really, really good. But, yeah, so I forget what that was. Anyway, I have my receipt here, but trying to find stuff on the receipt with their abbreviations is... Uh... uh it was three fifty, which I don't think is too bad. It's thirty two ounces, so and that'll last quite a while. So I'm gonna try that. That just I don't know. You go in there hungry. That was my biggest mistake. Is we went in hungry. Me and my husband decided to go in there and look around for a little bit, and yeah. and then the other things I got, I picked up two of these. These were a dollar. That's what they go on sale for at my grocery store too. So I figured I may as well grab them all. I'm there, and I love these. These are my favorite instant potatoes. I don't have instant potatoes very often, but you know, like sometimes. You know, when you want a quick meal, we grab one of those rotisserie chickens at the store, throw a batch of this together and some canned vegetables, and you got dinner like in five minutes. So I really like those a lot. And those are the buttery home style. And of course, I had to pick up one of these that I passed there. You get six of these uh, Hershey bars in there. I don't know what these cost me either. Um, these actually might have been what was three fifty. Oh no, that's. 325. All right, for four of these full-sized candy boys. So like I said, we went in there hungry and the first thing we did was hit the food aisle. I've never even looked at the food stuff in Dollar General. Uh, lately I've been trying to check out these different things because usually I'm running in and out of there for something in, you know, particular. And what else? I want to show you this too before I bring him in here. I picked up this um, Sterilite uh, container, divider case they're calling it. But you could put so many different things in here. I think this would be great for like from some of my stamping things that I have to store in here. Because I just kind of have them sitting all over the place. Some of my little ink pads that I have, like my distressing ink and stuff. I think that would fit in here perfect. And um, stuff for, you know, my die cutting and things. I just thought this is great. And if you want, you could take these out if you want to use these on a shelf or something. And then you have this whole box to store stuff. But I really like that, and I have no clue what that cost me either. Some of the stuff has prices on it, some I did not. Um, let me see, let me see. That was actually $9.50, but I really, really like this. So, And these are really um, a good case. It's very sturdy. It's not, you know, flimsy whatsoever. So that's what I got. So I will go out now and put this stuff away real quick, and I'll grab little P and bring him in here for a visit, and I'll be right back. Okay, here's a little pea. You gonna help me out here today? I know, you know I have this. I brought him in a piece of one of the figs that he likes that comes in their bird food that I get at the pet, uh, the parrot store. Um, there's usually a three or four of these maybe in the five pound bag, but when we get them, we cut them in little pieces. And these things keep him busy for a while. And believe me, these last few days, I needed something to keep this boy busy, right? Because you've been really, really loud. I don't know what kind of figs they are. They're really dried and they have t 
tons of tiny little seeds in them and they're kind of a brown color. I've tried finding them in the store, but I'm not exactly sure which kinds they are. I've tried the mission figs. He doesn't like them. But it just may be the way they dry these or something. I don't know. Anyway, back to this haul here, guys. Um, I did pick up a pack of these socks for my husband. Um, these are the hands, and these are a nice brand, and they were $7. So it's like a dollar a pair. You couldn't beat that for hands. And uh, these are just the Cotton Crew socks. It says it has wicking cool comfort fabric. I'm pretty sure that's cotton. But anyway, instead of getting six pairs, they have a bonus of seven. So that was a good deal. And I picked up some fly swatters. Saw these for a dollar. You get three of them. I want one of these in every room this time of year because it's just been so hot and humid. I swear, every time we open the door, five flies fly in the house. It's insane. But anyway, I thought they were cute because they look like little hands. And you get a light blue, a dark blue, and a cute little pink one for a dollar. You know, I don't need anything special to swat at a fly. But those were really cute. And then these I found in, I think these were in the spring, like where they had some of the spring and summer items. These are bamboo utensils, and these were a dollar. And look how pretty these are. It's all engraved. It's not like just printed on there or anything. That's all etched in the bamboo for a buck. And I thought they would be great to put even in like a gift basket or something. Somebody just moved into a house. I mean, how pretty would those be? And you get the three different kinds that they had. Um, I'm keeping a set for myself because I love bamboo things because, you know, bamboo is pretty antibacterial all by itself. Um, but yeah, aren't they nice? And I love the smaller spoons. I have some out there that are real thick, big, heavy wooden spoons, and I don't care for them as much as I do the thinner ones. So I picked up two of each of those. They had a ton of them, too. So, yeah, I just thought they were so pretty. You guys, you know, the go to Dollar General probably seen these all summer, but like I said, I don't ever get there because it's just really, really out of the way. And then I picked up two packs of these. These are the Crafter's Closet. I guess that's Dollar General's brand. Um, you get 60 pieces of the wood alphabet tiles. They're like Scrabble tiles. And these are always fun to put on a um, little craft project, whether you're spelling out a name or whatever you're doing. I've seen a lot of people use these in different crafting things. And I just never had any of these, so I picked up two packs of those. And these I found, I'm all over the place here today. These were actually also in with the like spring-summer decor that they had there. And these are a dollar too, and these are like little, I'm not bothering you. <laughs> These are like little rolling pins, and I thought these would be really sweet to redo for Christmas time. Um, I saw some really cute different designs on rolling pins um, for different holidays and things, and I thought, I mean, these are cute just the way they are, if you like this colors and stuff, if that, you know, goes with your decor, but I really want to remake these, so I picked up two of them. I figured for a buck, I'll tape them. Are you okay? We'll make them into something special. Wipe your mouth. You got food hanging out of your mouth. <laughs> All right. And then I picked up these little stickers. These are little felt owls. Aren't they adorable? You got blue, orange, green, purple, and pink ones. And they're all self-adhesive. You can use just like a, a felt sticker. Well, that's what they're called, felt stickers. You get 12 of them in here. But I thought those were really sweet. And they have really nice faces on them, too. I've seen these. I don't know if Dollar Tree... Did Dollar Tree ever have the felt owls? I don't know, but whatever it was, I passed on some of them because the faces and stuff were just, they weren't nice, and they weren't put together nice. But these are really, why are you yelling at me the whole time? I'm not bothering your fig, young man. It's all yours. <laughs> but anyway, I picked up a pack of those because I thought these were cute. And then I did pick up a pack. These, they had the Crayola brand um, colored pencils, and I need some more colored pencils. I want to start you working with my stencils and things here. I really want to get organized here. I have to go through everything. I have, they're such a mess. But once I get them organized, I'm going to get these clear stamps all together in different holidays and seasons so I know what I'm doing. And I want to... I needed some good colored pencils. I have some over here, but... Well, these the ones I have in this thing, they're actually watercolor pencils. But I'm hoping these are nice. I mean, Crayola is a good brand, so we're going to try those. And I also picked this up. This is also their brand, the Crafters closet. And this is just watercolors. 
And these are fun to do different with, with the stencils and things too, a little bit of watercolors. And I've had these before actually, um, a long time ago. I don't think there was as many colors in it the last time. I, I'm talking years ago. Um, but there's 36 color cakes in here, it says. So it's got pretty much any color you would need. And I'm sure they're going to work just fine if they work like the other ones I got from there years ago. So, oh, you can even hang these up. Like that. Well, that's how they hung it up on the thing, but I can actually hang these up out of my way in here. So, yeah, I thought those were really nice. There's just so many colors. Now, this thing I picked up, um, it is just a plank here. It's, what is it called? This is called a rustic palette sign that you could design with, you know, however you'd want to, whether you got a Cricut machine or whatever, or, you know, some kind of stenciling you'd want to do on here. And it's already done for you. Um, I don't know what this one... I don't know what this cost. It wasn't a dollar, that's for sure. Um, let's see, else tiles. Oh, here it is. It was two fifty. But I thought that was so nice. I love this deep, dark, rusty color to this. This will be fun. I don't know what I'm going to do on it yet, but and it has a really nice, thick, like jute string on here that's stapled really nice in the back. So, we'll figure out something to do with these. I just thought that was really nice. I just love the color of it, honestly. And then I think the last thing, is this the last thing I got here? I th oh, no. Let me show these before I bring this other thing out. It's probably going to scare you, but I picked up two packs of these little carryouts for my dogs. Um, these are the burger minis. Um, and, yeah, these are nice just for a little treat. When they go potty and stuff, I always give them a little treat when they come in the house. So, that's a five ounce bag, and they're pretty much the same. I think sometimes they're like 89 cents maybe at Walmart, but I never seem to get the Walmart either. And then the last thing I got was this tray. Now this tray was, let me see, let me find the price of this. This is a really nice, sorry P, I know that's going to scare you a little bit. It's a really nice size tray. This was $7.50, and I think it's worth every penny because it's sanded real nice. There's no rough edges on it. Um, it's fairly sturdy. I think I will re you know, line it with something else here. And I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that yet, but look at the size of this. It's very, very big. I don't think it has the measurements on here. Um, you would think with all of the tape measures that I've purchased from Dollar Tree that I would have one handy that I could use, but for some reason they always get missing. Where people borrow them and I never see them again. I just bought one not too long ago. You guys saw me pick it up here. Um, yeah, I don't see it anywhere in here. Let me grab my handy dandy ruler. Oh, let's see. I have one of these metal rulers here. So this is a good, it's 11 inches wide. Oh, sorry, Kim. I knew I was going to make you drop that. And it's 12, I want to say it's 14 inches maybe. Yeah, this good 14 inches by 12 inches. Or no, that can't be right. It looks longer. Um, hang on, what did I say that was? Oh, 11 inches. Never mind. 11 inches by 14 inches. So it's a really nice size. And I want to decorate this up somehow, and I just thought these were real pretty. So if anybody's looking for a nice tray to decorate for, you know, whatever, these are really, really nice. Not the sturdiest bottom in here, i got to tell you, it's really, really not. But <clears throat> I'm not going to use it as a thing. I want to use it more or less to decorate with. So I'm sure you could probably want to put a different bottom on here, too. You could, because this is pretty thick wood. It's at least a quarter inch or more. <clears throat> but anyway, that is what I picked up at Dollar General. And I probably won't get back there again for months and months and months and months. But... Hopefully I will, because I know a lot of people tell me they have a lot of nice Christmas things and stuff, and um, I just seem, I think every time I hit there, it, it's just like a bad time. Are you enjoying your fig, young man? Keeps you out of trouble, huh? You need to tell people how bad you scream sometimes, and that's when we really dig out the figs, don't we? <laughs> He's just very needy. He always wants attention all the time, and you know, sometimes you're just busy doing something, and he will just sit and scream. So we found this to be the perfect pacifier. But I try to only give him maybe one a day or one every other day because I'm sure it's very sugary. But anyway, P, 
Tell everybody, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little haul, and I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everyone.